Hi, I think I'm ready. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hi, guys. I am ready for you. So jump on in here. Uh, if you're on the replay, welcome. It's nice to see all of you. Uh, if you're not sure if you're a replay or a live, there is a button in the top corner that's red and it says live. And that means you are watching me right now in real time. And then there's a number beside of that. I can see mine and it tells you how many people are watching with you. Um, and then there, I don't know if you see the stars or not, uh, but that's when people really like the video. You can go at the bottom and purchase stars. They're a penny a piece and you can send the presenter a little gift for like a reward or a tip. So good morning, Kimberly. Hello. Um, hi, Shelly. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Fred. Um, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking so that the replay people aren't mad. Good morning, Terry Reno. Hi, Karen. But um, let's get started on the project and then we'll chit chat when we're all done. I'll jump in and out from time to time. They have to understand that we are friends here and that we love this time together uh good morning cindy wow you guys are all up i mean it's 10 30 here almost 10 30 here but i'm thinking of my kids like they're two hours behind now it used to be three hey margaret good morning hi julie good morning janet hey tara i have my magic mirror right here but i wasn't quite gonna get into all <laughs> good morning <laughs> so okay let's just go ahead and magic mirror for a minute uh my friend kathy at royal funky junk um invited all of us to make mirrors so you guys remember romper room uh yeah yeah okay good morning robin good morning brenda so now's the time to say hello uh hi there's tara oh dolores yes you caught me live yay hi judy from arkansas it's 9 30 oh well it's not too early to paint some brush trees then hello you guys good morning jen glenn thank you so much for sprinkling you're like my best friend thank you so much and i got stars from someone i see someone gave me a tip already thank you shelly good morning i see linda and i see edith who remembers the romper room let's see uh, there was a little poem. It was, and I memorized it. It's romper, bumper, stumper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Tell me today, or let's see, magic mirror, tell me today, have my friends had fun at play. And then she proceeds to say, hello, Linda. Good morning, Diane. <laughs> I got to look through. Oh, there's Edith. Good morning. And Linda. Hi, Linda. And uh, Shelly, yep, I saw Shelly and Jen Glenn remembers. So Kathy came up with this idea and uh, she let us make these. Um, you watched Rumper Room all the time. I did too, Shelly, I did too. So, okay, you guys, let's get going. Oh my gosh, have I made the replay people mad now. Woohoo! I'll be getting the comments for sure. <laughs> hello, Elva. <laughs> Good morning, Cindy. Hello, hello. She's in Texas. I'm in Ohio. Let's get going. So if you remember the other day, I showed you how to bleach these. I can't get you down. I showed you how to bleach these um, little brush trees. And um, I told you I had these two that I'm not super crazy about. So um, I'm going to mess around with those in a little bit. But I kind of wanted to try the paint thing first. So I'm just going to mess with a little, um, with a little one and I have a red brush or a red paint here in my little meat tray. I have red and I have white. Um, I was going to do some snow, but I think I have a, uh, every time someone says hello to people watching, I think of her, I know that's exactly Kathy did too. And so she came up with the mirror and I thought it's great. Hey, Kathy, uh, I'm in Zanesville, Ohio, Shelly. I think it's Shelly. My glasses are in. I got a message. <laughs> My glasses are in. I ordered glasses. I went to the eye doctor. Nothing had changed, but I said, I can't see anything. And he's, and I, he gave me bifocal so I can read. And then he cleared up my far, but you guys are too close to be far. So we did like, I like arm length glasses. So we're going to see, I got to go to, I got to drive a half hour over to get them. So, um, yeah. Kentucky, Kimberly, we're pretty close. So, all right, let's keep going. I, you, you guys just don't understand. You can get caught up in the chatter. So here we go. And I'm, I'm hopefully the replay people know, just speed through until the person's doing what they're doing. Uh, going to work. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Going to work. Thank God it's Friday. You're right. Uh, Patricia in, in a favorite. Oh, I have so many favorites. 
Uh, good morning, Patricia, and she's in Texas also. So, I know this is really weird to make a red tree, but I'm thinking Christmas, and they're always green, and you see pink and purple in all of the colors. I don't know that I've seen a red tree. And I was getting so many messages about painting trees, and people were sending links and everything. So, I'm just, I'm just, I, I um, if your paint is super thick, like your chalk paint is super thick, um, you'll need to add water. You want it, uh, runny from what I like see that did you see that drip there's another drip you want it runny like that um I didn't have to because I squirted out of the, the um FIFO bottles first in first out and I um I didn't shake it so I had all of that moisture pardon my language but screw the <laughs> Terry Reno bless your heart hey I saw your outback picture you posted of your patio is so cute i loved your gate so look you guys now i don't know how to do it honest to be honest i didn't take time to, well one girl sent me a link and i wasn't able to go to it but the other links i just didn't take time um I, we i can figure it out but look i'm just poking i'm not sure that everybody did it this way i didn't look um i thought the paint would be thick and clumpy but the comments were no it's not so here we go and they are right no it's not so if you have any tree, look at that. If you have any, look how good. If you have any tree, and I'm gonna make it better here in a minute. Um, any trees, like I have my bag full of trees. Well, I've got them all laid out here, but I got a bag full of brush trees, all sizes, all colors. And then if you're gonna make one of these projects with it, mind reader. <laughs> oh, you were gonna get more bottle brush trees? Well, you don't even have to worry about what color you pick up now long as you got the paint in the color that you want. So looky there, I just made a red, now this one's called cranberry sauce. So it's a little uh, a little burgundy red mix, almost a wine color. Um, so that is what that looks like. I had another here, I, to be honest, I can't, I can't lie to you. I did practice just to snap, just to make sure. So I did cheat a little bit, but I fessed up, so it's okay. It's all, all is forgiven if you fess up, right? Okay. So here we go. I want to paint out a couple because I want to see what the snow does to them, but I, I think I want them to be dry so I don't have red snow, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I figured we would do this, and now I'm going to move on to the snow, and I had, um, again, I have to fess up. I did try a little bit just because if I'm going to bring it to you guys and show you what you know, worked. I was messing around here this morning. I was watching Barb at the Shabby Tree making, oh, thank you for sprinkling, Terry Reno. Um, I was watching Barb at the Shabby Tree make Grinch necklaces out of spoons. I've always wanted to do spoon necklaces and I've never messed with it. So she's inspired me. I have so many spoons as you can imagine. So, uh, oh, Edith sprinkled too. Good morning. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Thank you for sprinkling, you guys. That's almost like advertising for us um, that do these uh, videos. You know, you you pay for advertising, which I don't do that, but um, you guys just help me so much. And did you see the other day when I posted how my, my viewer and my videos, like all along, has always been like this, and then here recently, it's gone like this? That's because you guys are sharing. And I just wanted to show you, like in real life, I know you don't really understand it. I don't either. I just saw that I went from this, you know, it kind of went this, and maybe a little bit up, just a little bit over the years. But it's my first one like that. I'm like, holy moly. So I took a picture and, and posted it just so you guys could see the, the difference that you're making for me. <laughs> so, okay, now what I want to do, I don't know if I need the paint but I'm gonna put um, a little bit of white paint, oh, you can't see, put a little bit of white paint here in my pan. Now, I love using these styrofoam meat trays. I have, uh, my mom keeps them for me, I keep them, my friends keep them, like everybody brings me their meat trays. Like if, like someone that has chickens, everybody saves their egg cartons for them. Well, <laughs> I'm the meat tray girl, so <laughs> I get, <laughs> and don't start saving me your meat trays. I love you, but I don't need them. I got enough, <laughs> I have enough meat trays, but thank you so much anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I run low, I'll, I'll throw it out here that I need meat trays and you all can <laughs> help me out. So, okay, good morning, you guys. I'm missing your comments, but I, now that I'm rolling, I'm going to keep rolling. I have two containers of snow text. This, it's, well, it's backwards for you, but it's, it's S-N-O-W-T-E-X. It's just backwards. Um, so, <clears throat> 
Um, it's old. I mean, it's very old. It's super thick. I'm not sure it's supposed to be quite this thick. It's been years since I've painted my bulbs with my friend Sandy. So I still have snow techs from back then, but I thought this is gonna be, and, I, and this may be how it was new, but I'm telling you my jar is super old. So if you get some snow techs and it's new, um, it also helps if you participate in group events, Rhonda. Yes, it probably does. My problem is that I'm, always working. I'm either painting for clients or decorating. So I, um, I don't have as much schedule time and um, I, I, I have a hard time coming up with ideas for projects. Although right now I don't. Um, I don't know if you have to ask to be in one of those. Uh, I was invited into the sparkle room. So um, I guess if you're invited, that's different, but I'm not going to go looking for more work, right? Because I got, I'm busy. So yeah, but to be invited was special and I appreciated that. Uh, Melanie also invited me year, well, so, well, it's been two or three years ago now into the craft-a-thon. So I met a lot of you through the craft-a-thon as well. I've done every one of those so far. She keeps inviting me back. So we'll see. Uh, oh, you loved the house yesterday. Thank you. They bought, we did three, um, just Angie and I yesterday. It's been, it's been something. So uh, I don't know. I was, okay, so let's get back to work. I hate to miss the comments, but um, okay. So I'm dipping into my tray and I'm just going to off it, off it a little. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to dip in. And then I thought I would try just adding some snow with paint. And I, it, you okay, now I'm not going to off it. I'm just going straight in paint. And you can get there. Let me show you. See that? It has a little bit of snow on it already. See that? But not as much. So there's where I started adding. But I wasn't feeling like I was getting anywhere with the paint so much. I am, but not where I wanted to go. Okay? It's like riding a bicycle an hour away. You're getting there, but not how you want to get there. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> That's a pretty good analogy. So, okay. So I just scooped into my snow text. I don't want to get too much here, but okay. I scooped in and I piled it on top of my white paint. You don't have to have the white paint, you guys. I don't think you have to have the white paint. I haven't tried it on a big tree, so it's got a little more, um, whatever, a little more flex. So I'm just, I'm going to try and hold the branches here so it'll scrape. I'm almost like scraping it off of my brush and pushing it in. And see how much better? So I like the... You found yours at Joann's, Shelly? Someone must be asking where to get it. I, I've had mine so long. I, there's no price tag on it or anything. I, oh, let me check the lid. No, I don't know. And there's another jar in there that's even bigger. Um, but I'd never heard of Snow Tex until Sandy introduced me to it with her bulbs that she paints. I haven't gotten those out yet. I haven't done my treat. I told you guys I can't figure out where to put my treat. Ah, I just have so much. I don't have any room. This is my first year. I'm really baffled what to do with my tree. Oh, there's a big chunk in there, but I kind of, it's kind of vintage looking. Oh, ha, ha, ha. right. So, so far, this was what my tree looked like. Look where it is now. You got yours at Michael's. The snow text probably, or the trees. I don't know which, maybe both. They would have had both, I'm sure. We don't have a Michael's here. Um, it's about an hour plus a little over an hour maybe. Depends on how fast you drive. Depends on if my husband's with me or I'm with my friend. <laughs> if I'm with a girlfriend, I might go a little faster than if I'm with my husband. He would never go to Michael's with me in a million years. That would be like if he did something bad, I'd say, okay, I'm, you, you've been a bad boy. You have to go. <laughs> you have to go to Michael's. <laughs> That's how that would be. That's the only way I could get him to Michael's. And you know what? I wouldn't want him to go there anyway because, you know, he'd be like a pouty little boy. Where, where are we leaving? I'm done. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> you know what I mean? That wouldn't be any fun. It's like my mother-in-law, when, when my father-in-law was living, he would drive her to the grocery store and he would sit in the car and wait on her. And she's like, I can't even relax at the grocery. I feel like I have to hurry. And she... Here's some advice for you for my mother-in-law. She said, after he he retired, and so just to get out of the house, he'd say, oh, I'll go with you wherever she was going. I'll go with you. And he would drive her. And so she became 
uncomfortable driving. Like she really was uncomfortable because she just didn't drive anymore. And I kind of see my mom doing the same thing. So I encourage her to drive whenever she can. Uh, oh, oh, I just shot some snow on me. Uh, but anyway, she, in front of my husband, she said, never stop driving, never lose the, the uh, confidence in driving because you really become dependent when you can't drive. And so she said, I, she did it to herself by not saying, no, I'm just gonna run to the grocery on my own. And I, I hear that advice and I've never forgotten it. I thought that was good advice. Okay, so th this big, tr I'm gonna do a little one and show you how easy it is to do a little one because I did a little one here. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there drying. But um, I think this is much more interesting. Usually I cut the bottoms off of these big ones and throw them out, but geez, I got snow all over me. So well, let's hope that this dries down. I see comments going, I'm not used to having so many comments. Thank you, awesome, just wondering where you found them. Um, probably Hobby Lobby, Joann's or Walmart, that's all I got. Hobby Lobby, Joann's or Walmart. That's what's in our town. Okay, so, so here's a big one. Here's what it was before. So see how it just gave it more. I need I'll oh, I need to press it down just a little bit more, maybe. It's not sticking out so far, but that's how snow would be. It's however it would grab there. So now when you have a project, instead of sticking this, you know, tree, which is great, but now if you stick this one in, it's just a little bit more interesting and a little more custom because everyone knows a brush tree looks like this. So to do this to it, I'm gonna do another kind here. I have this one, I keep thinking I got snow all over me. <laughs> what a day to wear black, right? So here is this, and I, I don't like this one. I I must have left the stain. I, oh no, I put I laid it aside for a project. Um, I tried to bleach this one the other day or one like this and it turned a real pretty teal color, like a turquoise, turquoise color. And um, it was super pretty. So let's, let me, uh, let's see. Let's try the paint on this one first, just so you guys know, in case you don't want to mess with snow text and you want to do one today. Okay, so you just glob on your paint like that. Kind of does the same thing, but it's not as textural or texture -ish. Texturized. Oh my gosh, it's amazing to me that you guys stick around, really, seriously. Goofball. I'm just gonna do paint on this whole one and then we're gonna compare. I have one more that I don't like, like this. I need more white. You, you can see. I'm gonna squeeze out of my FIFO bottle, which just basically is first in, first out. That's what it stands for, FIFO, F-I-F-O. I want those big clumps though. So yeah, I'm really putting it on thick. You might not be able to tell the difference. I'm, it's a lot easier to use paint. We're learning together. Oh, and I definitely need like a lot on the top because that's where the snow would hit. Thinking like mother nature here. I just feel like the paint kind of soaks in or something. But we'll see, maybe it doesn't. So there you go. There is a painted one. That's just with paint. Here's what it looked like before. See, even just with paint, it's really good. Now the problem is I'm gonna do snow text and I don't have another one to show you the after. So, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me just stand it up. Of course that paint's probably gonna drip. I don't know, we'll see. We're learning this together. Well, shoot, I can't stand it on my rag. Okay, I'll stand it on this mat. Oh, no I won't, I'll lay it on the mat. Does it matter? I don't know. Where's my wet rag? Okay, let's do snow text now. And I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'll, I'll take the paint out of my brush a little bit, okay, so that you guys aren't like, you know, thinking it's the paint. Okay, so here's my snow text. I don't know if the labeling is new now. I don't know. So I would read the words if you're looking, and don't just like try to glaze over and look for blue in a jar. Um, you'll want to read because I'm not sure it's the same labeling. 
but this is snow text. It's real fluffy. Let me show you a big, like this is what it looks like. It's just a big clump like that. And it's real, it's real thick, see? Okay, that's what it is. And then I'm just like pressing it in. I kept that whole glob here. I kind of just find in an area, I'm pressing some in. Can you see, you can see. If I can see, you can see, right? I just wanna make sure I wasn't doing it like over here where you guys can't see. Isn't this riveting? <laughs> it's just riveting. <laughs> Are y'all just sipping on your coffee, enjoying this? <laughs> Either put you to sleep or wake you up, right? One or the other. Okay. I shot a piece across the kitchen. Oh yeah, I really like this. I like the snow text better. They're both fine. They're both fine, but I really like the snow text better. Okay, keep, keep jamming. You can just get it more crumbly. It's so much more vintage. Uh, I, there's some trees that Julie and I found when we were antique shopping and they were amazing and they had this real thick stuff. They were metal trees. They were, um, I, uh, they're nothing like these. And I grabbed one and she grabbed two and we love, I don't know, I might've grabbed two and she grabbed two, I don't remember. But I say she grabbed more than me, whichever way, because she still has them. But I think I create a little more often than she gets a chance to. So I liked it. I, I think she got more than me, but maybe we got the same. I don't really remember, it doesn't matter. I'm just yammering to entertain you while I'm doing this. Who cares? Ooh, look at it packed there at the top. Nice. Okay. So, here is the paint one in this hand, and here is the snow text. Can you, there is a difference, but it's not a lot of difference. The paint ones were actually a little bit easier. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see the difference in the lumps and stuff, which makes it just feel more real to me. But I, I still like the paint one better than nothing, right? <laughs> I like that better than nothing. So, okay. So that's all I have for now. Oh, I have one more project I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit. In a little bit um, I'm gonna I'm going to do a few more of these and clean this up and then um, oh I wanted to do the red I wanted to do the red let me see if it's if it's wet yeah. let's do red and see what it looks like okay okay here's the red here we go I think we, oh it's still wet inside yeah it's still wet inside you guys I can't do it turning pink. Well, we'll go with the pink. Eh. Meh. Yeah. Just like I said, it's turning pink. Well, I don't want to dip that down in. Oh, so I got another brush here. I need to just need another yucky brush. That's kind of yucky. Oh, I'm trying to get it on top of that little teeny tiny point. I'm just pressing it in. It you could you'll be able to see that it went a little bit or pink on me. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flick it all off because it's still wet inside. Sorry, it turned pink, and I don't want to lose my tree. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that off of there. That was a fail. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna pit, put some more red paint over it. Um, we're really gonna mess. This tree will turn out and be my favorite, you watch. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm just gonna let it dry until after my next video is over, probably, and then I'll snow text it because I've got my brushes all red. But I did, over here, 
before, oh, I, I'm not done. I'm gonna show you another one. Before the video, I did a little one. Look at that. Let me show you what it was before. Look. When I said the big ones were harder to do because the branches were like so much uh, bigger, see, like they're just so fluffy. They're, these are a lot more stiff. So you, it, it holds itself so you can scrape the snow off onto it better. That makes sense. <laughs> but oh my gosh, how cute, how ugly, how cute. And all I did was snow text, okay? Then I played around with a cream one to see what the snow looks like, but I already showed you that. And then I played around with this one. And the reason I did this one, I don't like this one. I must be a picky tree girl. <laughs> I never, who cares? I don't know. It's just when you have five or six, you pick one you really like, right? So, okay. The reason I didn't like this, it's very spiral. You can see, I can see it from here, but the snow broke up the spiralness spiralness. You know what I mean. Okay. I felt like the snow was really breaking up the spiral. So if you buy trees uh, that are spiralish, just do that. Pack it on and it breaks it up a little bit. So, oops, I saw another area that looked really spiralish. Where was it? I don't know. I saw it. You saw it. I saw it in the camera. Anyway, there you go. Okay. So, I have a black tree that's the same way. See the spiral? So I'm gonna try to break up the spiral on this black tree. We're learning so much about trees here. I'm like Barb at the shabby tree, right? I'm sure she's probably already done all this stuff, but um, maybe not. It'd be pretty tough to get one up on Barb, <laughs> I think. Be pretty, pretty good at it all. Okay, so I'm just gonna cram some in here. Just wanna try to break up some of the spiral. I want it heavy at the top. I should probably put maybe a little dot on top of the ball, because if the snow was snowing, it would, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, snow would hit the ball. Why am I asking you? Of course it would. Of course it would. Okay. Let's put a big clump down here. We're just gonna spread it around a little bit. I'm missing your comments, but the replayers are loving it. You love the, I know the little ones are amazing. Big ones are harder to do, and but I end up cutting the big ones down anyway. So um, I, like to make my, I don't have another black tree, but to make myself like a, like, oh, that's the same size. But so like if I have a little one, you know, and a bit like that, only next step up. So let me see if this paint's dripping. I was just looking. Um, no, the paint is not dripping. It's gonna take a week to dry. <laughs> it's so much paint on there. It's not dripping yet. It is on my hand when I pick it up. Let's see what the snow text. And the snow text doesn't do anything. I can grab it. It's not doing anything. So snow text is the way to go, you guys. Super energetic, I am. You know what, I just, here, I just finished my coffee. <laughs> Maybe that's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try to tone it down a little bit. Just got a drop of water. I'm just happy. being quiet because I just got in trouble. <laughs> she couldn't watch me because I was too energetic. Okay. Yeah, well, I need, I need some rain. There. Okay. Whoever said I'm too energetic, I just gave you a minute of nothing, which was better. Nothing or mindless chatter. Oh, she was referring to Barb. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was, I was kind of gonna, in my mind I was thinking, well, she better not watch Barb. <laughs> she thinks I'm 
because I love Barb's energy, but wow, it's fascinating to me. Fascinating. And it makes me feel not so wild. Yeah, maybe she wasn't talking to me, but see how it is when they don't say anything? You know, it's kind of boring. There, do you see Spiral? Not anymore. But the black is still there, and now it's snowed. It snowed on my black tree, and I love it. So I don't have, um, oh yeah, I do. This pink tree spiraled. See, when I say spiraled, let me show you the difference. See, so, so when you're brush tree shopping, um, and then they make them skinny, like, I'm not gonna pick up the painted one, but like the, well, let me do the snowy one I did. So, you know, you can get really fat, you can get tall, short, like there's all kinds of brush trees. And then, like I said, I don't have my cutters with me, but like I said, you can take this and get in there with your wire cutters and snip it and just throw this part away and looky, you have like, a, like that size. You can custom your size. However, yeah. You're watching her. She's a little, she is, but she's, but you know what? That must be her. She is consistent. I've been watching her for a couple of years probably, and her energy is consistent. So that is her. She's not just turning it on, you know? Um, oh, you like the spiral. I saw somebody do a heart spiral. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just very uh, machine done not as realistic I got I don't know the words I don't know the words but let's I'm just gonna I won't do as much on this one I almost got carried away on the black one I saw it but it's so fun so fun to do what a relaxing gosh this is much more relaxing than decorating for Christmas or painting people's houses this this is no wonder I come home and do this when I need to breathe it's no wonder it's rewarding it's um, I don't know I don't know I just enjoy it and I know some people are not crafty and I never understood it until there was I went to the gym with my daughter here in town we walked in of course both my kids are super gym rats right walk in and we're looking around and I'm just like <laughs> you know there's people everywhere getting it and then I'm standing there like I'm gonna look like the biggest doofus on the face of the earth trying to do that and they're gonna it's just I don't know it's embarrassing right and then uh you know she starts lift like she plops me on an elliptical or something see you later and I'm like trying to watch her what she's doing and she's lifting weights and doing all like this whole routine thing and and so I walked over like, what you doing? You know, when I got done, what you doing? And so then I start walking, you know, walking around the, there's like an indoor thing. So I'm walking because I didn't know what to do. And I saw people climbing the stair things and rowing and all that. But I just, I, well, I'm by my, well, I wasn't by myself, but I was by myself because she was busy. And it's not that I needed to hold my hand, but it just was very, I was very uncomfortable and lost and didn't know what to do and um she said mom this is summer my daughter summer this is how i feel about crafting <laughs> you see all of those brushes and glue and paint and things and you're just like yummy let's go and she says i don't know how to do any of that and when i do i don't love what i do and she said you know that's how that was the very best way for me to understand a crafter hi alice Hello, friend. Uh, and I that was the first time I understood when someone doesn't get into crafting because it's when it's your thing, you know? It's like, how, how do you not like crafting? <laughs> so it was a really good analogy for me and I've never forgotten it because um, I do remember being uncomfortable and watching everybody else in there go, 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 and woo! And there I was. I just was so uncomfortable. Needless to say, I never went back. <laughs> obviously uh she's a smart daughter uh yeah that was a really good um really good analogy i think too so sometimes i know you guys just watch because 
someone's live. Oh, I see part and someone I made, I was cooking the other day and someone says, do you, I, I don't mean to be mean. She messaged me. Do you realize how much you touched your hair? I'm like, no, I didn't even, it's such a habit. And when you're, it's like when you, when I talk to you guys, like if I had a phone over here to show you, I'm literally looking at myself. So I can't see you. I see me, but I see what you're seeing. So if I have a hair sticking up, of course I want to fix it. But, uh, oh, it's snowing, Debbie. Wow. Do your trees look like this outside? <laughs> Mine don't outside, but they sure do right here on my kitchen counter. So, okay, you guys, that's all I have. Um, I'm going to go. I usually go back and look at your comments. Let's see. I'm all done. Um, it is good therapy. Yes, Terry, I haven't um, I haven't done anything with them yet. And I know when I show them, they're all gonna say, how'd you do that? And that was one of our group things. Uh, I probably will show that probably next season, next year, um, or maybe save it till like January or something like that. We made some awesome bottle brush trees of our very own and they are amazing. And I know right where they are, but um, I didn't show them um, you want to talk about vintage looking. Yeah, they're in our group. I have a group. It's a private group. Tammy's making. It's called, you can go to my website, TammyLovesVintage.com, and you can find out about it. It's $15 a month. You can get in, get out. But when you're in, you can look around and see all of the things that we've made. Um, I know there's like a couple hundred videos in there. Um, you can find me on YouTube. There's around 500 videos there. But the things in the group are not things that I usually bring out here until like a year later. Um, and some of them are a little involved to really be good. So they don't come over here at all because it's just too much. But um, you're welcome to get in. You can go through all of the, you know, the videos and then jump out or whatever. But you have access to everything in there if you if you join. Um, just go to TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, you love the spiral trees. Oh, you can't get out to shop, Karen. I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry, reading about Karen. I'm sorry about that. Now, when I see a spiral one, I'm going to think of you and say, "Who was that lady that wanted?" <laughs> uh, how did she show on a how did how did show on a live go back? and look at the, oh, I just got a mad face. I get mad faces. Every video I do, I get mad faces. People are always mad. But sometimes I look at like, I can see who does it. And I see like, uh, one time it was my friend Mary and she messaged me and she said, I think I gave you a mad face and I didn't mean to. Um, and then another one, there was someone I didn't even recognize her. And when I uh, tapped on her, the, a message popped up where she sent me this whole big thing about, um, nice things, really nice things. So I thought, okay, we're not blocking her. You, 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 it's tempting sometimes to block me <laughs> because you can, because you know who it is, but then you don't want to block someone that didn't mean to. So I don't do that. Uh, recently. Oh, I don't know. How, I think, I think when you, uh, Elva, when you comment enough and do the hearts and all of that, I think you get a pop-up option to be a fan. I think you kind of have to participate in the, um, in the postings by that person, and then you just become a top. I think it's something you earn. It's not something you can just go ask to be. I think. I don't know, but I think. Because I have seen, I have gotten pop-ups because I like other crafters of course so I follow people and it'll say do you want to be a top fan for so and so and yes so um you're exhausted after watching her <laughs> I know it's so entertaining though she is a little kid at heart Kathy uh thank you Penny oh I didn't know you were on here Penny thank you just got some of that snow stuff now I think you will put it on the garland trees oh nice nice uh you're so <laughs> Yes, I love Barb. I love her. And she's, I have so many things here that I've made that Barb influenced me to make. And I've told you all that. You do an amazing job. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Love the trees. Thank you. So I'm just chatting now, you guys. So no need to be mad. You can just get off, jump off. Um, we're just chatting. Um, oops. Oh, oh, gosh, Janet. 
wherever Janet is, I almost, oh, Janet, I almost invited you to come on. That's weird. It says come on camera. I wonder why you and nobody else. Gee whiz, Janet, you want to go live with me? It's letting me. <laughs> She's probably in her nightgown. <laughs> Drinking coffee saying no. Oh, that's funny. I I did almost invite her to go. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh my gosh. I yeah. Okay, she was referring to Barb. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're all saying Barb. Oh, God love her. Uh, good morning. I thought she meant me. Jamie. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about me, so I went silent. Radio silence. Uh, oh, I know. You've never heard of snow tech. Shelly, give it a try. Mine's been sitting in the cabinet for at least two years, maybe longer. So I don't know the consistency of a fresh new jar. Might be a little easier to work with, but mine's still working. Um, so there's that. Mine's still working. Uh, let's see. Uh, the tiny one turned out darling. Yes, yes. I love the little ones. I agree. I like the little ones better, but I definitely think I made this better. I don't hate this one now. Um, the paint one, let's see how she's doing. She's kind of starting to drip a little bit, but snow would drip too, so it doesn't bother me. But it's way not as interesting as the snow text one. I just can't, I just couldn't get the chunk, and it's still very wet. I couldn't get the chunkiness. Um, yeah, Terry likes the little ones too. I think everyone likes the little ones. You're doing it. Yay, Linda! She's doing it. Okay, you guys. I think that's can you set, can you spray the snow text to keep it from falling? I don't think it's going to fall off once it's dry. We'll see. I'll let you know, Linda. I mean, we, we can talk about it if they're laying here and I remember or message me in the next video and we'll talk if they've had time to dry and we'll talk about it. No stores, Walmart. Well, Edith, you're like me. I kind of live out, out of town a little bit. Uh, the paint's much easier for sure, but the other's not hard. You just get a wad and push it in there. Um, Penny likes snow techs. Okay, all of the all everyone's saying all of the craft sources. Oh, Debbie asks where to find it. Um, yes, yeah, Susan's forty five minutes away. That's the way I'm about. I'm a good half hour probably from stuff, but um, add some cornstarch or baking soda. You're right, Debbie. And you know what? I have Country Chic's texture. Pa uh, powder. Oh, good idea. You can almost make your own snow text. So she's saying, I've heard baking soda. I've heard baking powder more than baking soda. And she said cornstarch. You sprinkle a little bit of that into your paint and you get texture. You get a thicker paint. You're absolutely right. I had in my hand that gesso, that artist's uh, gesso, but I think it would be too wet. It's not quite thick enough. I forgot about that. Debbie, you're so right. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Waverly paint still available at your Walmart? I don't know. I, I don't, I have my country chic, uh, chalk based paints and waxes and glazes and plasters and all the things. So I don't really look at that. I'm sure it is. Um, homemade snow. Here you go. Rhonda for the win. Quarter, a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of baking soda and one tablespoon of white paint and Mod Podge. Um, I was thinking I heard glue, but I guess glue would be the same as Mod Podge. There you go, you guys, make your own. Maybe I'll do that when my jar is empty. <laughs> uh, you can't find the perfect bottle brush trees. Well, Denise, now we know how to make them ourselves. You just buy any old tree you find and fix them right up. Everyone's saying snow text. What compound are you? Oh, snow text. Everyone's asking, answering Debbie. Bless her heart. I did. I should have looked up this technique to make the trees look more vintage. I think so too, Brenda. Same thing happened with my mom when my dad retired. Yes, Barb. That's what's happening with my mom. She's probably on here. He's my stepdad's probably listening. He drives her everywhere. Uh, and she's afraid like to take the car because if she, oh my word. I have 649 stars. How'd that happen? Somebody's, wow. Thank you. I just went, ooh, look at that heart. I can't always get a good heart. That's pretty good. Thank you so much. Whoever is sending me stars, I wish I had a bell. That is like the biggest, I'm sorry, I lost my whole train of thought. I just happened to look down and I saw that number. It's down here and it's up 849 stars. Holy cow, it's like an auction. 
Oh my gosh, I almost invited Debbie. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie Lee almost got invited to go live. Uh, wondering where I found them. I'm not sure what you're asking. Before you go alone, then you shop at your leisure. And buy yes, Michelle, yes. Yeah, there's another make your own Mod Podge and baking soda and paint. You want to go to Michael's too far alone. Yeah, yeah. And what stinks is when I, like, we have Michael's and a great big Joann's and all that up in Columbus, which is, like, a, about an hour from me. And you make the trip, and you're like, oh, like, oh, I'm going to get all this good stuff. You get up there, and you can't, <laughs> can't find a thing. Or it's just not, nothing's floating your boat, right? That's always disappointing. So you go to Marshall's, because there's a Marshall's. <laughs> so it's never a wasted trip. Uh, quite a few vintage spice tins. Oh, good, Shelly. I have been getting so many pictures from the, oh, there's another mad face. You guys just. If you're mad, just don't stay. Um, you don't have to stay. Uh, but I, we enjoy chatting. And, and I'm all done with the craft. So anyone that's jumping on now and you're angry, it's because you missed it. I've been on. I'm done. We've, we've been making little, um, putting snow on brush trees that used to look like, um, well, I can't show you that. But like this. And so we fixed them. So that's what we did. And that's what you missed. So you'll have to catch the replay. We're chatting now. This is the end. And so we can have fun now. Um, so, yeah. So nothing here. To, nothing to see here. Uh, I think I've heard Debbie Riggs say that. Nothing to see here. You can order snow text on Amazon. Oh, that's true, Denise. You guys, there's always Amazon. Got yours at Hobby Lobby in the paint aisle. Michelle loves snow text. I'm just going through comments. Um, found yours at Joann's. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Michelle. You haven't found it yet. Try it on. Try it on uh, Amazon Barb if you're still here. Hi, Emma. I'll go back through and answer. You guys know I always sit. It takes me an hour, sometimes more, to get through all of the comments. Um, oh yeah, and there's Rhonda telling me to get in a group. I know, Rhonda. I'll do it if they ask me, but I'm not gonna go out searching i know i need to to meet more people but you guys have been sharing so much lately that's all i can handle <laughs> okay uh good morning i got too many other you know all the things i do so i just can't do anything else fairly new to your page well barb good morning to you we share my friends are watching you oh linda <laughs> hi linda's friends i just saw something fly oh great i have a wasp in here uh linda's friends hello uh, good morning from Oklahoma. Hi, Abby. Hi, Shirley. The wasps start coming in through our fireplace. We know that because when we do a fire to roast marshmallows or something, there'll be three or four of them come in. So we must have a wasp nest in the, in the chimney. <laughs> Thanks for sprinkling, Terry. I think I saw that earlier. Love the red. Thank you. Yeah, it's so different. Is it still wet? Let's see if we can fix it. Oh, yeah, it's still wet. Can't fix the red yet. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm a mind reader. You were just thinking you're getting... Okay, I read that one. Kathy was getting some trees. Uh, okay, I, I think I got everybody. If not, I'll get you later when I sit down. Oh, my goodness. 1,159 stars. You guys that follow me know I never get more than a couple hundred and usually not very many. Those I have a faithful little handful that sprinkle me some stars from time to time. This is unreal. I don't know I don't know what it means exactly except I know it's like a tip. It's a penny a star and um wow, dang. I hope some of those big page people that I'm friends with sees I'm getting stars. I should screenshot this. I think I will. Let me fix my glasses there. <laughs> Let me, where's my screenshotter? I'm going to screenshot this. Gosh, I'll probably hang up on you. There we go. There. I screenshot it for all those stars. I want to remember this day. This is awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Hi, Karen. Good morning. Oh, thank you, Karen. Um, So, uh, Karen, this is what we were doing. We were... Oh, now let me show you a... This is like the bottle brush trees, and we snowed them. We made them snowy. We made them more unique. And then we took, we took um, like trees like this. Where'd that little one go that I did that I liked so much? 
Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He was hiding behind a big one. And like that. Well, so this was before and this is the after. So we've been messing around with a product called Snowtex. So anyone that jumped on late, and my Snowtex is very old and it's still working. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of those stars. I can't, thank you just doesn't seem enough. I can do a big, oh, another good heart. I don't usually get my heart so good. I can't decide. Is it this? What makes the heart so good? That's a good one. Hearts for all of my stars. Hearts back to you guys because I can't fly the stars. I'm a pretty, or hearts. I'm a pretty good heart flyer myself. I love following people and giving them all the millions of, heart, or, of hearts like that because it's so easy. You just tap, 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 right? It's great. You know, and that's helping both of us because it's giving my video more energy, but it's also um, working on you to become a top fan. So one of you asked, I can't remember who it was, I can't remember who it was, asked about being a top fan, and those are the things that you do to be recognized by Facebook that, hey, you might want to see her videos because you're so active with it. So thank you. Thank you, whoever did that. Usually you see that when the hearts pop, you see their pictures, and I'm not seeing any pictures. Maybe that's just on a replay. I can't tell who's doing it so funny. All right, you guys, I'm going to go I'm gonna get ready for the next thing. I've, I've been debating. I have this silly little project that I, I saw um, my friend Beth sent it to me and it involves keys. So I went upstairs and I pulled some keys out of my stash, regular old tractor car keys, and then um, skeleton keys. And I thought I might, I think I'm going to bring it here for you guys. It's not like a crazy awesome thing, but it's cute and it's fun. And I think you'll all enjoy it. So I'm going to do that a little bit later today. If you're in my text group, I'll text you and let you know when I'm doing it. Um, oh, my paper fell off of here now. I don't have it anymore. My number, if you get a pencil and paper, I think I have it memorized. I think I got it. it is seven four zero. 273-6693. You can text and just say hi or send me a number 42, whatever. <laughs> just say anything that you initiate conversation uh, will let me be able to tell you when I'm going live, okay? And, and I'm going live again sometime. I want to clean this up. Uh, I'm not going to clean it up completely because I want to get these red trees snowed. Um, but then I'll get my stuff out for this and then I got to get start getting ready for my craft-a-thon. Hi, Debbie. My craft-a-thon project project. Oh, I froze when I screenshot. Dang. So you had to get out and get back in. I'm sorry. I probably kicked everybody out. Oh, well, I was done anyway. Thank you, Penny. That's it. That looks right. 6693. Doesn't it? Or is it 6993? I think it's 6693. Is it six six nine three? I don't know. I can't get out. Seven four zero two seven three six six nine three. It's that's right. That's right. Oh, you didn't freeze. Okay, you have big keys. Okay, Betty, go get them. Get yourself some paint, red, green, white. You know, Christmas colors. Maybe black, and we'll make. Yeah, get black and get your tiny. Like I have a tiny artist brush jar and then I have my chunky see the difference so I get my I had my chunky for my trees but I get my tinier ones for um you'd think I'm an artist right <laughs> I'm not uh oh you have big ones okay yeah don't I don't want to see you ruin big ones because I have some big ones too. I, I don't ruin those so hi crystal hi friend okay guys I'm gonna go because I'm really I really got to work on my craft-a-thon. Um, I, I had a link to buy what I, the project I'm going to do, and Amazon has been out. We signed up for this project, I want to say, well, it was early fall, and they had them, and now they are out of stock. And so my link to the project is not available, so I've got to figure out how to make a template for you. And... Um, yeah, so I've got to do that and get everything set up so that I'm not sweating it tomorrow. So thank you at home with Misty Fears. Hi, friend. Hi. Oh, my gosh. You guys need to follow at home with Misty Fears. She is the nicest lady, and she does all of the molds, like the Prima molds and 
transfers and all of that stuff and I envy her stash and she not only does this but then she sells it like for you guys to buy and it's she makes some amazing creations and she's the sweetest soul so okay you guys I'm gonna go like I said 20 times I'm up to 1200 stars do you see that misty fears wow I've never had so many stars in my all my life in one video ever never it's a record hello joseph it's a record for sure you're here on a record day i've been i've been doing uh snowy trees kind of boring for a fella but i love them <laughs> i love them see they look like this and then they went to this see and so for a crafter that just jacked it up a notch so Okay, you guys, I always hate to say goodbye because I see new people coming on, but I'm going to fly. Thank you. Oh, my God. I have 1,700 stars, and I'm not going to screenshot because somebody said I froze it. That's unreal. I'm not saying that for you guys to send me stars. You don't, I'm not saying that. Um, a star recount. Yeah, did you just send some? I'm not getting any note. My gosh. I don't know if you got them or if you just noticed. It doesn't, don't send any more, you guys. That's amazing. I'm not saying that because I want you to send stars. I'm just kind of flabbergasted myself. So yeah, I'm, wow. I love all my new friends I'm getting. It's so fun. I'll see you in a bit. Go dig out your skeleton keys and some Christmas paints. Thank you, Becky. It's just, it's more a numbers game, right? It's more a numbers, it's not that it's pennies. It's more about, wow, look at that, how much. If I had, a, if I had 1,700 pennies laying here, we'd all say, wow. It's just that it's a number. So, so yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you, Misty. You are too. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll be back. We'll do some keys.